by changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more complaining. People, their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more. I thought this morning that I would just jump in and use my own story, which is basically what I'm always doing. And that is the, there are always levels. There are always opportunities. Hey, Trish, she says grateful for the rain today in Maryland. Nice. There are always opportunities to let something bug you beyond the state that it should. And I had something happen yesterday. I don't really want to talk about it because it would be complaining. I want—I spoke directly and only to the person who can resolve the issue. And so I don't want to complain about it. I do want to share with you, though, that it's amazing. All right, let's say you, I don't know, mindlessly bump into somebody because you're looking at your phone at the airport. I'm making this up as I go. Can you tell? And the person gets really upset. I mean, just disproportionately rah, blows up at you. Well, you think, wow, that person is a problem or they're a you know what or whatever. Or you begin to consider that maybe that person actually went through a lot right before that. And you bumping into them. Let's say that their girlfriend broke up with them and that, uh, <laughs> you know, they something, lost their job, just add all the things. And then on top of that, people kept bumping into them while they were trying to text with their girlfriend to bring her, get her back. And you bump into this person and they lose it. So in almost every case of someone being triggered and exploding, there's lots and lots of levels and uh, lots and lots of layers, rather lots and lots of things that have happened. And I realized that that is true for us as individuals, all right? At some point, if things, little things, and I'm gonna use silly, this silly little thing that happened to me this morning. And so here, here's, an, here's my example. As I mentioned earlier, I bought this uh, lighting thing here. You see it nice and it's, it's supposed to hold the phone, but it won't hold the phone because I can't clip it to a solid surface. I've got it clipped to a chair. Now, why do I have it clipped to a chair? <laughs> I have it clipped to a chair because this is the thickest furniture I have ever seen. There's no way, <laughs> there's no way to clip it. So this morning I walked out ready to do our jump start. And as I began to, this is something I've done a dozen times, just clip it to the edge of a desk, turn it on, and here we go. And so I was like, the desk is that thick? Okay, now at that point, I could have gone, I'm just making this up, stay with me, you have to stay with it. It's, it's the same analogy I used before, okay? I could have gone, damn it. <laughs> Instead, what I did was, I went and checked another piece of furniture, very calmly, right? And then I went and checked another piece, and I checked another piece. Now at any point during that time, I could, could have gone, you got to be kidding me. What the? <laughs> but I just, I chose to make it a thing. And it's like, what's his name? Uh, Fox, Foxworthy. Jeff Foxworthy says that people always say, it was in the last place that I looked when they're looking for something. And he says, well, I hope so. My idea is, can I keep myself just totally cool and chill all the way up to resolving it. And sometimes I'm much better at it than at others. Sometimes it's a challenge, but if it's, if it's a series of little things that can come together to make it a big thing. So the funny thing was I was able to get it to connect in a good spot <laughs> over by the television on a drawer, but the, I couldn't get the power to reach. So I finally went, okay, what can I do? You know, and at no point did I go, damn it, inside. And that's the point. That's the point. Several years ago, I wrote a post on Facebook that said, when you've lost your temper, you've lost. And that is so true externally, but it is also true internally to try and keep ourselves as, eh, because I'm very aware of the fact that the jump starts coming up. I need, this is an 8 a.m. Eastern daylight time thing. Even if I'm in Dallas in a, in a hotel, 
that I want to do. And so I know the time is coming on and I just resolved it without any angst. I, I actually considered going in and shooting this in the bathroom <laughs> because the counters are not as thick as the desks. That's a little atypical, isn't it? So can you keep it together in soul inside? Trish says, resolving things without complaining about them. I love them. Yes, and the, I guess what I'm going for more today, Trish, too, is keeping it together inside. Because as within, so without. I've discovered for myself that um, if we use harsh words or strong words internally, our mind responds. In other words, our mind is sitting there ready to respond, yes, and ready to take care of us and everything. And if we use, oh, you gotta be kidding me, what the hell? And even if that is going on in your head, it's not okay because it is affecting your neurophysiology. It is be affecting your behavior. So watch what's going on in your head because what goes on in your head goes on in your world. Little things, like we've talked about this. If someone is slowing up the ramp, I always have my own stories, but if somebody is slowing up the ramp because they are walking very slowly, checking their phone as they get off the plane, uh, keeping 188 people in a line behind them, it's very simple to say, idiot, or in your head, or to say, 30 more seconds is not going to impact my life. I can just let this person be this person. They're not doing it to be rude or inconsiderate. Those are the words that my ego wants to use. They're just being themselves. So watch how you describe situations in your own head and avoid words. I've noticed uh, some people talking and using words like a bad experience is a horrible experience. A uh, less than good experience is sucks, you know. We talked about this the other day, about how uh, superlatives are diminutives. When we try and use super, super strong words, we actually weaken what it is that we're saying. No Denise more, says, No more complaining people, their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more complaining people, their lives are changing, we're flying high, creating a complaint